Hello, this is Jason Alexander, and I'm going to read you a book called If You Take a Mouse to the Movies. If You Take a Mouse to the Movies by Laura Numeroff. Illustrations by Felicia Bond. If you take a mouse to the movies, he'll ask you for some popcorn. When you give him the popcorn, he'll want to string it all together. Then he'll want to hang it on a Christmas tree. You'll have to buy him one. On the way home, he'll see a snowman in your neighbor's yard. He'll want to make one of his own. Then he'll need a carrot for a nose. When he's all finished, he'll decide to build a fort. He'll ask you to help him. Then he'll want to make some snowballs and have a snowball fight. Playing outside will make him cold. He'll want to go inside and curl up on the couch. He'll ask you for a blanket. Once he's nice and cozy, he'll want to listen to Christmas carols. You'll have to find some on the radio. He'll probably sing along. The carols will remind him of his Christmas tree, so he'll want to make ornaments. You'll get him some paper and glue. He'll ask you for glitter. When the ornaments are done. He'll hang them all up, then he'll stand back to look at the tree. He'll notice his popcorn string is missing, so he'll want to make another one. He'll ask you for some popcorn, and chances are, when you give him the popcorn, he'll want you. To take him to the movies. That was a good story, wasn't it? Do you remember the part where Mouse wants to listen to Christmas carols and sing along? Well, here's a special Christmas carol for you to sing along with too. Don't be surprised though if the words are a little different from the way you're used to singing them. On the first day of Christmas, my mouse gave to me a great big chocolate chip cookie. On the second day of Christmas, my mouse gave to me two bendy straws and a great big chocolate chip cookie. On the third day of Christmas, my mouse gave to me three sips of milk, two bendy straws, and a great big chocolate chip cookie. On the fourth day of Christmas, my mouse gave to me four popcorn strings, three sips of milk, two bendy straws, and a great big chocolate chip cookie. On the fifth day of Christmas, my mouse gave to me five pairs of boxer shorts, green with candy canes, four popcorn strings, three sips of milk, two bendy straws, and a great big chocolate chip cookie. On the sixth day of Christmas, my mouse gave to me six perfect pine trees, five pairs of boxer shorts, green with candy canes, four popcorn strings, three sips of milk, two bendy straws, and a great big chocolate chip cookie. On the seventh day of Christmas, my mouse gave to me seven snowballs flying, six perfect pine trees. Five pairs of boxer shorts, green with candy canes, four popcorn strings, three sips of milk, two bendy straws, and a great big chocolate chip cookie. On the eighth day of Christmas, my mouse gave to me eight snowmen melting, seven snowballs flying, six perfect pine trees, five pairs of boxer shorts. 
hug a green with candy canes. <laughs> Four popcorn strings, three sips of milk, two bendy straws, and a great big chocolate chip cookie. On the ninth day of Christmas, my mouse gave to me nine cozy blankets, eight snowmen melting, seven snow as flying, six perfect pine trees, five pairs of boxer shorts, green with candy canes. Four popcorn strings, three sips of milk, two bendy straws, and a great big chocolate chip cookie. On the tenth day of Christmas, my mouse gave to me ten radios blaring, nine cozy blankets, eight snowmen melting, seven snowballs flying, six perfect pine trees, five pairs of boxer shorts, green with candy canes. Four popcorn strings, three sips of milk, two bendy straws, and a great big chocolate chip cookie. On the eleventh day of Christmas, my mouse gave to me eleven ornaments glittering, ten radios blaring, nine cozy blankets, eight snowmen melting, seven snowballs flying, six perfect pine trees, five pairs of boxer shorts, green with candy canes. Four popcorn strings, three sips of milk, two bendy straws, and a great big chocolate chip cookie. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my mouse gave to me twelve movie tickets, eleven ornaments glittering, ten radios blaring, nine cozy blankets, eight snowmen melting, seven snowballs flying, six perfect pine trees, five pairs of boxer shorts. Green with candy canes. Four popcorn strings, three sips of milk, two bendy straws, and a great big chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> By the last time through, I think I was getting most of the words right, but I may have to practice it a few more times before it's perfect. It takes a lot of practice to learn how to write. First, you learn your ABCs, and then you learn how to spell and write sentences and put your ideas down on paper. Then, if you're anything like Laura Numeroff, the author of If You Take a Mouse to the Movies, eventually you might end up writing books. She's written lots of books, including If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. That was the first time illustrator Felicia Bond drew the now famous mouse. In that book, she had him wearing blue overalls and white boxer shorts with blue polka dots. But this time, she dressed him in a pair of very festive red overalls and green boxer shorts with candy canes printed on them. She loves to draw, and she says she's known since she was five years old that she wanted to be an artist. Do you know what you want to be when you grow up? Shh. Listen. Do you hear that? Sounds like jingling sleigh bells to me. And hmm, what do you suppose that popping sound is? Oh, it's popcorn, and I hear singing too. Let's see, sleigh bells, popcorn, and singing. I wonder if this could mean that we're about to hear another Christmas carol. Oh, I hope it has funny words in it the way the last one did. Don't you? Let's listen. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, I like the way you look there. Each ornament and candy cane hung neatly on its hook there. Some mice might choose to trim their trees with little chunks of cheddar cheese. But Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, we're trimming you with strings of popcorn. Pop, 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 pop. From the bottom to the top corn. Pop, 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 pop. Once you start, it's hard to stop corn. Popcorn on a 
This is Jason Alexander, and I'm going to read you a book called If You Take a Mouse to the Movies. You'll know when it's time to turn the page when you hear this sound. Oh. Hmm, that doesn't seem quite right, does it? What else do we have? Let's see. How about this? Ooh, no. Ah, here we go. You'll know when it's time to turn the page when you hear this sound. Now, let's read If You Take a Mouse to the Movies. If You Take a Mouse to the Movies by Laura Numeroff. Illustrations by Felicia Bond. If You Take a Mouse to the Movies He'll ask you for some popcorn. When you give him the popcorn, he'll want to string it all together. Then he'll want to hang it on a Christmas tree. You'll have to buy him one. On the way home, he'll see a snowman in your neighbor's yard. He'll want to make one of his own. Then he'll need a carrot for a nose. When he's all finished, he'll decide to build a fort. He'll ask you to help him. Then he'll want to make some snowballs and have a snowball fight. Playing outside will make him cold. He'll want to go inside and curl up on the couch. He'll ask you for a blanket. Once he's nice and cozy, He'll want to listen to Christmas carols. You'll have to find some on the radio. He'll probably sing along. The carols will remind him of his Christmas tree, so he'll want to make ornaments. You'll get him some paper and glue. He'll ask you for glitter. When the ornaments are done, He'll hang them all up. Then he'll stand back to look at the tree. He'll notice his popcorn string is missing. So he'll want to make another one. He'll ask you for some popcorn. And chances are when you give him the popcorn, he'll want you to take him to the movies. <laughs> <laughs>